All right, so I have installed some uh, apps on the Linux Mini. It uh, was not super fast initially, uh, so I restarted the machine. Um, if you go down here uh, on the app tray, it comes up. There's a power button here in the upper right corner of the app tray. If you click on that, you can put it in standby, restart, or set, shut down. So I restarted, and then it started working just great. So I'm not sure what that was about. Um, but so I installed some different apps to see what would happen uh, with different apps, and I've discovered some interesting kind of weird things. Um, so some apps, so I've got Word and Excel here, and um, some apps work just like you would think of them on a desktop. So you can maximize, make it full screen. You can make it non-maximize. You can minimize it, and it just hides, but it shows up down here in the system tray or the taskbar. Um, and you can make side by side. Now, you, one of the things I discovered is there's no snapping. Um, so you have to make the windows the size that you want them. And um, some interesting things with that. You can come down, so you can come and resize from the right side, but you cannot resize from the left side. Also, you can resize from the bottom, but you cannot resize from the top. Let's make that smaller. Um, it doesn't let you. You can grab it and move it, but you can't resize it from there. You can resize from the bottom right corner diagonally, which I guess makes sense because you can, cause you can resize both those directions. Um, so that was something that was interesting. Also, you can push it up to the edge and it will sort of click, but if you keep pushing, it will go, you can push it right off the screen. Uh, that works the same on the bottom and the other side and even the top, although you can't go very far off the top because you're holding it with the cursor. But it does sort of click first, so you can kind of snap it that way and then manually resize if you want to do stuff that's side by side. Um, so that was interesting. If you double click on the bar up here at the top, it will automatically go full screen, double click again, and it comes back to its previous size. So that's nice. The other thing is if I close the app entirely with the close box, um, and then where to go? So I'll open it again. Um, when it opens it, it remembers the size that it was before. Um, so that's nice. Um, the oh the other thing is the back button so on an android device you normally have a back button and if you look up in the top left corner of these apps you'll see a little arrow that goes back and if you click it oh that one it goes back but if you click it it will um let's see don't, don't say it. it will go back to where you were like android would um so that's interesting um so then I had tried the YouTube app, and um, the YouTube app plays just fine. Um, and you can resize it, you can make it go full screen. Um, you can get this view where you've got you know your other stuff on the side and your videos playing here. Um, but yeah, so you can resize this. Um, it hits a certain limit where it won't get smaller than a certain size. Uh, that's the smallest it will get. But I can also make it big. Um, so I wonder if I can resize it smaller here. No, that's the smallest I can get it. Um, so, but then you have other apps like Hulu, which it's full screen. And that's the only option. When you hover up here at the top, you get your bar, and you'll see that you don't, um, it auto plays when you resume the app, which is interesting. Um, but you get your close box and you get your minimize, but you don't get a chance to expand. If you double click, it does nothing. If you click the back button, it'll go back. Um, so the other thing I found is if you come down to the bottom, the taskbar comes up. And now I can open something over the top of that, but I can't 
make it a smaller window. So it's kind of a weird, um, it's kind of cool, but it's also kind of weird. I did notice that I can play YouTube while I watch Hulu and um, they both play video and sound. Uh, well, they were playing both at the same time earlier. Um, now it seems to be having trouble. Um, anyway. Um, let's see. Uh, Play Store and stuff. I decided to install Angry Birds because I wanted to see what it was like to play with a mouse. Uh, it's not as easy. So this is another one that is full screen and doesn't do anything other than full screen. It just takes over and you can open things over the top of it. Um, and uh, it is not so you have to grab the mouse and like click to move around and then you grab the mouse and drag him over and let go and uh, it's kind of weird uh, not a way that I would want to not something I would want to play on this guy, I just want to quit this out um, not something I would want to play here uh, on this device um, there might be other games that would be okay for that uh, the other thing I noticed is in the app tray you can right click to uh, just uninstall or go to app details there um, and when you do install new apps it places them on your desktop and it starts over here uh, on the left and just puts them down and puts them in rows as they go but you can move them around wherever you want it's not like you're used to an Android where it forces you into a grid. It just you can place them wherever you want. You can overlap them. Um, you it doesn't make folders like I'm used to in other versions of Android. Um, but yeah, you can just totally overlap them like that, which is not helpful. Um, but you can right click here and make a new folder. Give it a name. Um, and then throw stuff into it and uh, and then you have to open it and it opens in your file manager so I don't know how um, helpful that is and then you can just drag that up to the trash to get rid of it which is nice um, and you can open the trash because it's basically opens in file manager and it's a folder um, and let's see, you can right click and empty the trash and um, the icon doesn't change, it always looks like there's something in the trash um, let's see, oh this Remix Central is just a website um, that they have, the best apps uh, learn more about Remix 2, questions and coming soon So, and then they have another tab that opens automatically when you open that I think or did I op leave that open from earlier? I might have left that open from before. Um, let's see, anything else that I was gonna show you? Oh, yes, so this was weird. I installed Netflix, and so Netflix likes to open weird, um, and Netflix changes sizes on me, so I had it at a size that was more like this, uh, earlier and when I went here I think it was no where was it I mean, at some point it changed sizes on me automatically which was odd uh, I've not been able to get it to play oh there I hit play and it just changes the window size on me automatically which is weird and then the other thing that it did before and yeah so it um, it does weird things with your volume. So my volume is muted and I can't seem to unmute it now um, unless I close Netflix and then um, my volume goes back to normal. Uh, so that's kind of an odd uh, thing if you're going to use this to watch Netflix. Hopefully they will, the Remix team will work on that and figure out, figure that out and get that fixed. Uh, the other thing I was curious about was widgets so you can't put widgets on this home screen it, on, on the 
because it's a, it's really more like a desktop, not a home screen. Um, there's this widgets app that you open, and it does this. It gives you this clock and this blurred image, and um, if you click on it, it goes away. Um, come on, come back. Oh, that's interesting. I can't seem to get that to open. By the way, this little circle down here in the corner still, as far as I can tell, just does nothing. Uh, oh, and this is the first time this has happened to me. Um, I cannot seem to get anything to re... to come back. Hmm. Interesting. So there's still some bugs, I think, that they have to work out uh, with the operating system. I mean, nothing is being responsive at this point. Uh, this is the first time this has happened, so um, I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm just not exactly sure how to shut my machine down to restart it. So I'm tapping the top of the remix up. Oh, I tapped it, and it didn't seem to do much. Okay, well. Okay, so I I don't know if I did that by tapping the top of the remix or if that happened uh, by it if it did its own restart. I'm not really sure what happened there. Um So wait, hopefully it comes back. I think that was standby mode. Okay, and everything is quit now, and yeah. Um, all right, so now I'm back in here, and what was it? Oh, I was showing you widgets. So if you go to widgets, you get this thing, and you can add widgets. Um, but they're just like on this thing and you can see them and you can interact with them. Um, you can get rid of them. But, um, but yeah, it's like just a widgets app, which is interesting. I'm not sure why you would need widgets on there. And apparently when you quit the widget app, it freezes things up. Um, because that's the second time that's happened now. So I'm going to stay away from the widgets app for now. Um, yeah, so I may post more on this later. Um, but, but for now, that's Remax Mini.